be more productive in 2020 with the seven iOS development tools. Alex here from rebeloper.com and I want you to hit that subscribe button because in this video I will show you my favorite iOS development tools. So let's dive into the list of my favorite iOS development tools. And first off, as you already might have guessed, it is Xcode. Now Xcode is the development tool to build iOS, macOS, iPadOS, and so on, watchOS apps. And this is indispensable. You need to have Xcode on your computer in order to build iOS apps. So that is the first one that takes care of the elephant in the room. Let's move forward to the next one. And that is SF Symbols. Now, I really love SF Symbols. Let me just open that up for you. If you don't know what SF Symbols is, go ahead and download it from Apple's website. It's basically these new icon sets that you can use in your apps. Now, if you open it up, you will see that you have all of these symbols in categories. And uh, if you select one, you can uh, just go ahead and go to the menu bar and select edit and you can copy symbol or copy name. You can't see this because it's on behind my back. Now, uh, copy symbol is command C, copy name is uh, shift command C. Now that is useful when you want to add it in your code in Xcode. Let's just see if we have anything like that here. Let's see, maybe in the master view. Let's see, you can see that here we have image. Now we could have an image which uh, with a system name. Let's see, let me just type that out for you. So image, system name, and here we could add a string and that will be copied out from FF symbols like square dot and dot arrow and dot up. Now you don't have to just select this, you can't really select that. You just have to go with shift command and uh, let me just see if shift command C or if you want to copy the symbol, you could do that too. It is just shift, uh, it is command C. Okay, next up on the list is Terminal. Now Terminal uh, is kind of a matrix-like. You could use Terminal for a lot of things, but basically what I'm using it 90% of the time is for CocoaPods. Now you know all the drill, pod uh, init, pod install, pod repo update, those are the main ones. Or you could just uh, list all of the elements in the folder with ls or cd and the space and just drag and drop into your fo in your folder that you want to navigate to uh, that is it okay terminal is a way of uh, using uh, cocoa pods in your ios development tool okay next up is icon set creator now icon set creator is a free app on the app store and what you can do with that is just create your icon sets for your Xcode projects. Now, let me just drag and drop in here some logo of Repeloper. And uh, as you can see, uh, you just, uh, you can create for iOS, watchOS, macOS. I will create for iOS right now. Let's just hit go here. And uh, let's just uh, drop it onto the desktop. Uh, let's hit open and uh, there you go let me just drag this in a little bit as you can see it ha was created under the ios folder and it is uh, entitled app icon dot app icon uh, set which it should be and here we have all of our pngs now all you have to do is just drag and drop this onto your uh, xcode project and uh, uh, there we go. Let's just delete this app icon here and just drag and drop it into the assets folder. But there we go. Easy icon set creation with the help of icon set creator. Now, next up, we have uh, kind of GitHub, but uh, you can use GitHub from Xcode too if you go to source control and you just uh, commit, push, pull, uh, and you can create a Git repository also. But if you uh, want to use other repositories in your project, you should take a look at GitHub. 
and uh, just go to github.com and uh, sign up or sign in if you already have an account and search for all the awesome repositories that you can use also uh, you can use github to store your own repositories uh, so you don't uh, mess up or lose anything from your computer only no let's move on to uh, noisly now noisly is uh, kind of well it says improve focus and boost your productivity and you can mix different sounds and create your perfect environment now uh, this is kind of a white noise but it's not for sleeping or anything like that it's for productivity and focus remember when you were on a, a coffee shop or on a train and you had that noise in the background and you just felt really really productive now this is what noisely does uh, you can use it in the web browser you can download it as an extension if you wanted to uh, but what this basically does is just add in these awesome noises in the background you can use maybe some other music too and uh, yeah it's really really awesome makes you focus okay next up on my list is books now books is a default app on the mac from apple and i highly recommend this to read uh, anything about ios development that apple releases and there are some other books that you can read on ios development from independent uh, authors too now what i have here is the swift programming language and you just download it and learn all the way read it use it in example projects and that is it i also use this to import pdfs that i have bought from other authors like ray vanderlich and then i just simply can read it on my mac okay next up on uh, the list is flow now flow is kind of a pomodoro technique uh, app and let me just open it up like so so flow there we go now as you can see flow divides your workflow into sections with defined breaks and enables you to stay focused easily if you haven't uh, learned about the pomodoro technique at all i will just uh, wrap it up in a short uh, few sentences it's like going for uh, 25 minutes of deep work and then five minutes of break also you can uh, use these chunks like 55 minutes and then five minutes or maybe 50 minutes and 10 minutes of breaks but uh, make sure that on that deep uh, focus learning or working you eliminate all of the extractions so let's start using flow right here and as you can see it's very minimalistic you can see it in the tab bar here too and uh, there are some awesome settings like a uh, flow time you can uh, select your desired deep work time uh, and of course the break time too there are some settings like launch it logging start breaks automatically uh, what I really like about this that it has a blacklist uh, of apps you can add any app from what you want to blacklist when uh, you want to uh, stay focused and uh, let's just see here uh, you can also have some statistics of course I have just install reinstalled this app it doesn't have any statistics just yet and what you have to do is just simply tap on the start button and uh, you can just close it whatever and then it will alert you after 25 minutes or the allocated time that you have to stop and as you can see it nicely shown up here okay that is it for our ios development uh, tools I hope you enjoyed and found useful all of these seven productivity tools that I use on a daily basis to boost my iOS development. Now, I want you to hit that notification bell because in my next video, I will be talking about iOS development on Windows. That is correct. Now, while you wait for that, make sure to check out these two videos as well. I talk a lot about Swift UI, Swift in general, and iOS development. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.